Good evening, I'm Candace Aviles. Authorities arrested Eduardo Paso's dad and stepmom after they found the boy dead in Indiana. The family used to live in this area. And 10 News reporter Grady Trimble shows you why the community is now fighting for change. Eduardo Poso died hundreds of miles away from this worship center in Mayaca City. Eduardo is at peace. He's at home. But news of his passing sent shockwaves through this small community. Up until late last year, the 12-year-old and his parents lived here. Now his dad and stepmother are in an Indiana jail charged with his murder. The couple is accused of chaining him in a motel bathroom and starving him to death while on the road promoting a circus. I've shed my share of tears in the past week. Poso's fifth grade teacher is remembering the bright little boy who loved playing soccer and cooking, but he's also one of the many who worried about the boy's well-being. We all have thought, is there something I missed? Is there something I, I could have done, should have done? Records show the boy's own grandmother reported abuse. Manatee County deputies investigated but found no evidence. That was the pain that we had to deal with, that we let him down, that we didn't follow through. Sunday's vigil was as much a celebration of the boy's life as it was a call to action to make sure something like this never happens again. The candle lighting serving as a promise that family and friends will fight so no other child falls through the cracks. We will not fail another child. We will not let another one slip through our fingers. Just heartbreaking. How is his family doing? I can't imagine what they're going through right yeah, now. Yeah, it's got to be tough. Poso's grandmother and other family members were at the vigil this evening, but they're still too devastated to talk about it. The pastor is asking people to call their state lawmakers. He wants them to change the law to further investigate abuse after multiple reports of it.